kids. I'm super excited today because we are going to be coloring with these. Uh, these are not colored pencils. They are watercolor pencils. And to use them, we put we color like you would and layer like you would with uh, regular colored pencils, but then at the end, we add water and it all blends together and turns to paint. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how they work. So this is what we're getting, we're doing in my classes right now. And we're gonna go ahead, since I'm working with very young children, I am going to, we're gonna go ahead and uh, outline everything. Now we're going to do it with a super skinny Sharpie, okay? And everything doesn't have to be perfectly outlined. Like you can lift up your, your pen and uh, so, it, it, you know, it's more of like a, a dashed line. Or you can outline the uh, chameleon with a solid line and then kind of on this stuff, kind of uh, the stripes, we don't have to do a full line. It can just kind of be just a little bit of an, like a hint of a line. See how I'm doing that? Let me see if I can scoot in a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if that works on here or not, but here, let me just pull this up. Show you. See how it's just kind of a hint of a line? Yeah. So go ahead and uh, do that for your details, but then you can do a solid line going around your chameleon or whatever you are doing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first, and then when we're, I will turn the camera off, and when we come back, I will show you how the watercolors work. So I've gone ahead and outlined where I need to outline and now I'm erasing the pencil but you guys you see that you know it's not always a solid line where I um, traced it okay just some maybe dash lines not not solid lines you know kind of whoop, and then they don't connect and just a little bit here and there okay here's comes the part we've all been waiting for, the coloring. Now we're not doing all the details of the little dots. We just, we aren't going to do that. So I would say the most colors are orange and red. And if I do everything with orange and then layer on top with red, because the red is just a little bit darker, that is probably going to work really well. So that's probably what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to go, and I'm just going to show you by starting the head. Okay, so there's a little bit of white, and the only way you can get white with watercolor is pretty much leaving it, it the color of the paper. So guys, let me see if I can figure out how to zoom in a little bit. Oh, here it is. Just zooming in. There we go. There. Let's zoom in here. Fold this over so we can really see what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to first put down some orange because there's more orange up here. Okay, and then you can see there's darker streaks of red. And this isn't super um, clear on video, but in the photograph, when you're looking at your photograph, look for those details with color. Okay, I'm just going to start by doing the bottom. I'm going to throw some yellow up, or some, I'm sorry, orange up here, but not a ton. Remember, this is all going to blend together with water. And then I'm going to start layering some red on top of it. So I see where orange kind of peeks through up here, but red comes around here, kind of here and guys my eyes are going back and forth I have this right next to it so I'm like a copy machine and I am really copying this going back and forth and making sure 
Ooh, now right here I've got some green. Let's see, I've got some red. And it is pretty complicated. So we're just trying to get the essence of this chameleon. So I'm going to go definitely around his eyes red, taking care to really be a good observer when I am coloring this in. Um, we do have some green here, like some yellow green right here. Yellow. Maybe add some more yellow here. Good. Here we go. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, not in. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's. It's not going to be real dark either because when we add um, water, it's going to actually get more brilliant. Okay. So as far as the head, then. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add just a little bit of brown on top. Very, very little. You can see where these shadows are. And some of you might not be able to see those shadows. And if you can't, that's okay. You're just not ready. You're not at that point yet. But if you can see those shadows, there's a shadow up here. There's some shadows that are streaky down here. If you are at the point where you can see those shadows, go ahead and you can add a little bit of shadow. And I'm just going to do it with brown because that's what... It, the color my eye sees. And there's a little bit of darkness over here. And then up here, I'm going to ignore all the scales and just do the colors. So this is like a greenish yellow. So I'm going to just add some green and some yellow. And then there's some red here. Okay, some green and yellow up here above the eye. I wanted to show you where I'm at uh, halfway through or starting to color, but I colored all the parts that are very orangey red. I colored those first, and then I'm going to color this part individually. Um, and I'm really going to use my eye to do that. Okay, I'm going to put on the red stripes next. Okay, I got my chameleon all colored. Now we are going to add water. So I, we are using watercolor pens. They already have the water in them. You squeeze the water to the tip, and there you go. You've got water. The thing is, though, guys, since we're dealing with all different kinds of uh, colors, we have to be able to wash our brush off. And so instead of washing it off, we are either going to, you can use a sponge, wipe it across a sponge, but I'm going to wipe it on this um, piece of tissue because, so you can see when I wipe the color off. And you, that's how you clean these off. You have to get the uh, paper towel wet and then go from there. So guys, you're going to do this a little bit at a time. You can't just take water and do this. The colors will all smear together. You have to do it color by color. Now, if you want the colors to blend, you can do that section. So here, I'm going to do this section right here. I don't want to completely bend it because I want these shadows to go. So I'm going to start by doing the orange first. And you can see that it is working beautifully. And as soon as it gets wet, you can move it around. Okay, so if you have extra wet white spots, you can actually move it around. Now this works best when you have very even coloring. Okay, right there. All my red and yellow is done, so I'm just going to rinse my brush off. You can see a little bit of the orange came off there. Squeeze my brush to get some more wet going, and then I'm going to darken in the brown part, which is my shadow. You can always get it wet again later, so we're going to leave that. Look at how much brighter that is now. That's the beauty of watercolors, too. So now I'm going to go to this. And guys, it is best to work from lightest to dark. So I'm going to do all the lighter stuff and then do the brown afterwards. Do the shadows afterwards. And here I'm going to leave that because I've started with the red already. Unless you want to blend it together. If you want it blended together, you can 
do it, but I don't want it completely blended. I want to be able to see that yellow and that green. So I'm going to come over here, wipe off my brush, and then go back to the green and the yellow and the brown. So I'll be able to see it a little bit. And then I'm going to stop, come over, wipe my brush off, come over here, do this little section. So you're doing sections at a time. Don't forget to always wipe your brush off. You might have to squeeze your pen a little bit. Squeeze my pen, wipe it off. See, just little bits are coming off. So then up here, I need to decide, what am I gonna do for, let's do the lightest first. It's always a safe bet. So that would be the green and yellow. Get that wet, okay, and then over here, green and yellow. If your colors are not blending together, you might not be, now I'm going to do the red, you might not be getting enough water. And if you're not getting enough water, that means you need to squeeze it a little bit, but don't squeeze it so much you got drips coming through. It just needs to get the tip. And once the tip is nice and wet, the water should continue to flow. Now I'm going to blend this orange into the green a little bit. A lot of blending going on here. Now I'm going to do this brown that needs to blend a little bit. Oop, not enough water. More water will blend it more. There. See how I added more water and then it blended. I'm going to do the eye next. And do the red part up here first. Oop, too much water. Got too much water. Your brush will sometimes scoop it up. Q-tip if you have too much water. Yeah, be careful. You don't want to have a lot of water on this like we do when we do a wash because if you have a lot of water, you're going to have a mess and everything's going to blend together. So there's the top of my chameleon with all the colors blended. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I wanted to show you something. I don't want these red stripes blend with that orange. So what I'm gonna have to do is just do the orange and then let all let it dry before I come back and do this. So I'm gonna leave that alone and then I'm gonna go do a different section and then I'll come back to it. So I'm gonna do all the orange first. And then that way I want, whoops, too much water. Squeeze too much. Um, bring that up here a little bit. Uh, so I don't want these stripes to blend into the rest of the orange. So I'm just going to do the orange first and then I'll come back and do the stripes after it's dry or close to dry because we don't remember wet next to wet blends together. All right, I'm going to just do the orange and I'll come back and do the red. Okay, so we've done some blending. Now I'm just going to come back and do these little red stripes. And I don't want those to blend, so I had to let all the area around it get, um, all the area around it dry first so that you could see the red a little bit so it doesn't blend. Wet next to wet, it's always going to blend together, guys, so that's just so important. If you don't want it to blend together, you got to wait, okay? So you can see now I've got my stripes. And then down here, this is still a little bit wet. Um, it's actually dry enough because I'm trying it. If you're not sure, ask or just let it dry. Okay. All right. I'm going to finish up the stripes. And oh, and then I am letting all this dry too before I do the green and yellow ish stripes. Remember, if you don't want it to blend, let it dry before you do something right next to it. Okay, here we go. And you know what? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, now that I'm seeing this side by side, this could use a lot more color, especially in here. So I'm gonna finish that up and I'll be right back. Oh, meaning once this is dry, you can put more color on top of it. Yeah, with, that's another awesome thing about uh, watercolor pencils. 
All right, there we go. And when you get done, if you want it a little bit brighter, you absolutely can add more. And we are done. Remember, when you are doing that watercolor pencil keep looking back at your reference photo and doing almost exactly as you can and you should be okay see you next time